here comes Benedict. Come hither, Leonato. What was it you told me of today, that your niece Beatrice was in love with Signor Benedict? <clears throat> I did never think that lady would have loved any man. No, nor I neither. But most wonderful that she should so dote on Signor Benedict, whom she hath in all outward behavior seemed ever to abhor. It's possible? Why? What effects of passion show she? Beat luck well. This fish will bite. What effects, my lord? She will sit you. You heard my daughter tell you how. She did indeed. How? How pray you? You amaze me. I would have thought her spirit be invincible against all assaults of affection. I would have sworn it had, my lord, especially against Benedict. I should think it a go, but that the white beard is all speaks it. Has she made her affection known to Benedict? No, and swear she never will. That's her torment. It is true indeed, so your daughter says. Shall I, says she, that I have so often countered him with scorn, write to him that I love him? Shall we go speak Benedict and tell him of her love? No, you must never tell him, my lord. Let her to wear it out with good counsel. Nay, that's impossible. She may wear her heart out first. My lord, will you walk? Dinner is ready. Let us send her to call him into dinner. This can be no trick. The conference is sadly born. They have truth of this from Hero. It seems their affections have their full bent. Love me, I did never think to marry. I must not seem proud. When I said I would die a bachelor, I did not think I would live till I were married. Ah, here comes Beatrice. By this day, she's a fine lady. I do spy some marks of love in her. Against my will, I am sent to bid you come in to dinner. Fair Beatrice, I thank you for your pain. If it had been painful, I would not have come. Then you take pleasure in a message. Yea, just as much pleasure you take upon a knife's point. Fare thee well. Ha! Against my will, I am sent to bid you come to dinner. There's a double meaning in that. What's the next line?